A mass funeral of a celebrated news anchor, Catherine Kasavuli. A mass which was earlier today conducted at Friends International Church here in Nairobi. Catherine is a great, was a great lady. She loved everybody. She was kind. She cared for all of us, her classmates. I have a lot to say about that. I wasn't anyone special, but she opted to. So thank you, Catherine. And thank you for teaching me the importance of harnessing and honing your talent. Because that, as you always say, is what will make you stand out in a crowd irrespective of where you come from, how you are dressed, and who you are. His only son, Martin Kasavudi, eulogizing his mother as a great friend. You never knew which side she stood for. You never heard her in any way, shape or form wearing a color to represent one side or another. And I really, truly thank her for that because it also made her trustworthy when she told you something you know you didn't doubt her motivations you didn't doubt her motives she was just about delivering the truth various leaders and stakeholders in the media industry mourning kasavuli as a legend who influenced many to join the profession through her expertise in news anchoring we are all here because catherine meant something to us or members of the family meant something to us many has have spoken Catherine was many things to many people. But one thing unmistakable, Catherine always had a smile, an amiable lady, a person who loved people and loved life. Her life was significant to each one of us, even to those who don't know her. They have seen it on social media and they have said, hey, is a great Kenyan media woman who has rested. And so, I want to ask you, are you significant? Can we make an impact where we are? Guys, it's never too late to do that now. Catherine Kasavuli succumbed to cancer here in Nairobi and will be laid to rest at her home in Vihiga County. Majibu Kisao K24 TV, Nairobi.